it's hard to capture what it actually feels like to be there. It's such a vast body of water and it has such a presence. You can't you can't really capture that. It's like being by the mountains. You just you have to experience it. So what I'm trying to do is capture the parts of that that I can and the stories that I can. Um, and I think having the people who are making the food that we're that we're documenting tell those stories and document them um, in their spaces is is the closest I can come. I try to have some photos of the lake and of the nature that we're seeing um, because that certainly is part of the story and it obviously influences the food quite a bit. But most of the photos are of people and the food that they've made. I think a lot of people view food as something that should be heavily styled and you see a lot of photos of, of food as a product and a commodity. And I think that is not how I want to document food for this, especially for this book. I view food as an expression of the people who have made it and of the purveyors who have been involved in it. And those are really the stories that I'm trying to tell. And so I try to take photos of food, be it a, a, a elegant plated meal or um, some smoked fish from the back of uh, of a store in the context that it is and really give it a give it the life that it's already living instead of putting a lot of my own perspectives on it. I try to get photos of people with the food they've created, I try to get photos of the food where it is or in process um, or touched in some way. So you kind of get the feel of, of who is involved in that.